Hi, this is Michelle in the Children's Department at the Ida Public Library for Kids Nonfiction Friday. As we all start getting ready for school to start again, let's talk about a few unusual books about schools. First up is a longer, more difficult book called Off the Class, Incredible and Unusual Schools Around the World, written by Susan Hughes. This map towards the end of the book shows where the schools in this book are located. Some of the schools in this book are unusual because of their environment. For example, the schools on this page are actually boats. The schools on these pages were either built in refugee camps or among destruction from a natural disaster. Even more interesting is this description of mobile schools, schools that travel to different locations to teach children periodically. This school situation is something we have become familiar with. This girl lives in New Zealand, but attends school in Canada through her computer. Our next two books are more standard nonfiction books. These books, Getting Ready for School and My Day at School, are both easy readers and bilingual. Getting Ready for School is all about getting ready for the school day while you are still at home. My Day at School is about the school day, desk, gym class, buses, and more. Our next book is a narrative nonfiction book, For the Right to Learn, Malala Yousafzai's Story, written by Rebecca Langston George and illustrated by John Abak. This is a fascinating biography aimed at nine years old and up, due in part to discussion of the Taliban. This is the story of the famous advocate for schools for girls in Pakistan. Malala's father is a teacher and she loved school. Then a group of men called the Taliban became powerful in Pakistan and began saying that girls should no longer attend school. Their school was threatened, but he still taught them for a while. Malala began talking to people in a faraway country, England, about what was going on, and she was only 11 years old. Then war came to Pakistan and Malala's family had to flee into the mountains. Eventually they came back and went to school, but Malala was singled out and shot by the Taliban. She and her family had to leave Pakistan and now live in England. For speaking out for girls' rights to an education, Malala was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize when she was only 17 years old. T is for Teachers, a school alphabet by Stephen L. Laney and Deborah Dover Laney is a sweet alphabet book highlighting different aspects of school. This book is part of a series of many different books by this publisher in the same format. It has multi-level text so a younger or older kid could read and enjoy it. The topics run from books and the flag to kindergarten and field trips to the zoo. Anyone can enjoy this book. Our last book is also narrative nonfiction. Separate is Never Equal, Silvio Mendez and Her Family's Fight for Desegregation is an award-winning narrative written and illustrated by Duncan Tanatua. The back of the book provides photos of the real Sylvia, her parents, and the schools described in this book. In the 1940s, Sylvia and her family moved from the city of Santa Ana, California, to be near their cousins in the small California town. When it was time to register for school, Sylvia and her brothers were told they must attend the Mexican school. Their cousins could continue to attend the school closest to where they all lived. Sylvia thought it was because her skin was a darker color. Now they had to attend a school far away that did not even have a playground. Sylvia's father joined forces with a lawyer and they went to court to demand that children be allowed to attend the school closest to them. This book is both sad and joyful since it was brave families like Sylvia's which changed school for many Americans. That's all for Kids Nonfiction Friday this week. Find these books at the Idaho. Library.